Hello everyone and welcome to my channel. This has to be one of the funniest clips I've seen in a while. This US journalist goes into Indian television to lecture them on what they should do about Russia-Ukraine war. Now before we get started, please remember to subscribe, like, share and comment. Professor you Kapchun, this is about the West being weak? Professor Kapchun, so. allow me. What you're seeing is the West organize solidarity against no, Russia. No, 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 West, the no, 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 Professor Kapchun. We're seeing serious sanctions Professor, against Russia. Yeah. Most of the world now, is coming together now, against Professor, Russia. India should get off the fence. Okay, now I'll tell you something, Professor Kapchun. And I hope that you will allow me a, a decent response and then Ambassador Pawan Varma will respond to you. I see John wants to respond to you. First, I'd like to. First of all, with the greatest of respect, Professor Charles Kapchun, you have no moral standing to talk. You are in no position, you as in America, America is in no position to pretend to be the guardian of democracy and human rights. You are the worst perpetrator of atrocities. You, in Barack Obama in 2011, intervened in a nascent Libyan civil war, you know, using the NATO and Arab League partners, prolonging the war for one decade. You, you launched armed conflict in at least six countries. Iraq, Syria, Yemen, Somalia, Niger. You carry out drone strikes. You've killed thousands with your drone strikes. You run Guantanamo Bay. Where do you, where, where, where do you have a, where do you, where you run it on a 1,000 year old ridiculous lease? You dropped atom bombs, killing 1,99,000 people in Hiroshima and Nagasaki. The Russians have been You dropped Ukraine. napalm bombs. Why no, 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 I'm not, I'm going to talk Russians about the past. Ukraine. No, no, I am, allow me, allow me. It's difficult, I know, for the you to hear this. But Libya since I listened to you till you completed, you must, you Kosovo. must listen to me. You must, you must, to me, so you must listen to me, sir. Sir, you must listen to me. No, no, one second. We'll do what we want. No, we, we'll do, we'll do, we'll do, we'll do, we'll do, we'll do. one second. One second. Allow me. I'm, 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 I'm taking you on, Professor. I'm taking you on, Professor. I'm taking you on, Professor. Allow me to complete, please, Miss, Miss Sobson. She spoke about, he spoke about my country. I'd first like to tell you, uh, Mr. Kapchan, that's exactly what Pawan Varma said. You're dealing with India. We're a big country. We're not your satellite state. So don't lecture us on what we need to do. We are going to look out for yourself. You talk about, you use the phrase geopolitical expediency in, in place of values. You lecture me as an American to an Indian yes, on values and you say I that we are acting Russia in geopolitical expediency. Ukraine. Let me, let me, let you me, allow me, allow me to complete. Allow, allow me to complete, sir. Allow me to complete. Allow me to complete. Where were your values? Where, where were your values? Where were your values when in the first two months of the US invasion of Iraq, 7,186 Iraqi civilians were direct casualties of the war? Was that your expediency? was an expression of your values, Professor Kapchan. So now I'd like Pawan Varma to respond to you. Pawan Varma. I, I ask uh, the professor with great respect. You are asking us not to sit on the fence. Where has the rhetoric of the United States and NATO gone? They led Ukraine up the garden path. Have they put boots on the ground? Have they come to its assistance? Have they actually joined the war in support of a Ukraine invaded by Russia? Even the Russian, even the Ukrainian president has said, don't offer us rides, offer us weapons. Where are your, where is your support? Sitting on the fence. I ask you, when you continued for decades to support the apartheid regime in South Africa, because the gold and minerals were important to you, where was your conscience? Or from NATO? Precisely. These are questions you this must is, understand. We have, we have 15 million dollars in the, the million dollars in the right, pipeline the situation that we coming have today. to us. I haven't laughed that much in years. I just want to say a couple of things. Firstly, most countries on earth haven't sanctioned Russia. Only the West has, EU and US. So I don't know why he's saying that most countries on earth are united. No, only the West is united. Another thing that the man said is that they used to support the apartheid regime in South Africa. Yes, that's true. 
but they are now supporting another apartheid regime in Israel. Where are your values when it comes to Israel? And in your country, sanctioning Israel is illegal. If you even say something bad about Israel and you try to sanction them or not buy from them, you know, divest your investment from them, it is illegal in your country. And you want to talk about freedom of speech, freedom of this and freedom of that. And you want to talk about morality. Joe Biden said the same thing. He went to African leaders, he contacted African leaders and he told them they should do more when it comes to Ukraine and my question is why for what what have you done for us at the time when Russia invaded Ukraine that same day Joe Biden was bombing Somali civilians and you want us to support you while you're bombing our people you're torturing people in in Chibuti till this day and you want us to support you and you want to think that you are the moral person now one of the biggest problem with the western world is that they believe in their own propaganda. I used to think when I was younger that it was just propaganda, you know, they just want to say these things, but I think they actually believe this nonsense. They're getting high on their own supply, as they say. And that's the biggest mistake. You should never believe in your own propaganda. You caused this mess in Ukraine with your NATO expansion, and you want us to save you. I know the Indians and the African soldiers saved you from the Germans during the World War I and World War II, but this time we're not coming. This time it's on you. And as one African leader said it, do not bring this mess into our shore. And we're not going to sanction Russia. We're not going to do anything about Russia because it really isn't our concern. And if you ask us to do something about Russia, and if we do, the reality is that we should do the same thing about you. So if we're not doing anything about you, conquering Libya, Afghanistan and Iraq and all these different countries and bombing like seven African countries for decades now and supporting friends imperialism in Africa and in West Africa. We're not going to do anything about that. Why should we do something about the Russians? These two things are the same. So don't come to us with these lectures. Oh, you're not doing enough. We are doing so much. You are the bad guys. You are sitting on the fence. When you change the way your government behaves and what they do, only then can you come to us and lecture us. But until then, we will be sitting right here where we have a beautiful view. Now anyways, thank you for watching and please remember to subscribe, like, share and comment.